nice brown came right out from came right out from that grass over there. I was actually aiming for the cutthroats that are that are in the shallows, but here's a very nice fish. Just shot out and took it away from the little cutthroat. The little cutthroats were right over here at these shallows and the brown shot out from underneath that grass and took the fly. Right there. Yeah, it's better. That's better. Come here, Sunny Jim. Nice little brown. Gotcha. That was a subtle, subtle take. It was also a very subtle cast because I had branches over me. Come here. It's a nice fish. It's in a stream. Nice brown. Taking on the the uh, peacock and quail. Right there. Oh, I missed him. There. Good. That's a good fish. Oh, off the. Come on. Off the branch, off the branch. Bring you back up. And right to here. Yeah, good. Nice brown. Gotcha. Yeah, nice little brown again. Gotcha. I'm using the Karasu this afternoon. It's a beautiful rod. Um, it casts just lovely. It's um, one of the rods that I would say actually is right up there with the Oni rod for casting. Um, I'm using a relatively short line. Got this little brown here on a black Takayama. Sakasa Kabari. There you go. And this short line doesn't even do this rod um, justice. It underutilizes this rod. It casts so beautifully.
There we go. I had a really hard time seeing that this fish, that seeing that this fish took the fly because the wind was flying the line everywhere. Just trying to anchor the anchor the um, my cider in the water, but the wind was blowing too hard. Here you have nice, another nice brown on the black Takayama. There you go, and he's off. So you can see here, here's my line. I've got about eight inches of green cider. When the wind is blowing like this, I try to anchor this in the water to, uh, to act as a water anchor. And um, it generally works quite well. 